Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Action Creature. And uh, today it is a unfortunate topic uh, that I, you know, I wanted to talk about because uh, my, one of my previous videos about the Arctic figures, V-Rex, really blew up and did really well on my channel. And uh, lately I've noticed a lot of comments on that video asking if, you know, if I know anyone's, if I know this guy's like contact information or if, you know, people asking me, hey, what's, what's going on with my order? You know, what's the deal with this guy? Is he a scammer? What's going on? So I just kind of wanted to talk about that and tell you guys my experience uh, with this person. First of all, I just want to say I don't know this guy personally in any way. He did not just he did not send me this figure because I was a YouTube YouTuber or anything like that. Like you guys can look at my channel. I only have 400 subscribers, so the you know, really wouldn't make sense for him to send it to somebody like me. I'm just a collector that wants to make videos about figures that, you know, I like and buy and that's pretty much it. So, with that being said, I, I want to kind of talk a little bit about independent creators and kind of a unfortunate uh, cycle that I see with them. You'll have you'll have someone on Instagram pop up and they'll do a three D print of something or make a figure that a lot of people are wanting, and you know they'll open up orders and people will buy it everything's good and then it, it keeps progressing and progressing and they you know they keep doing orders and stuff like that but I think for every one of them it kind of reaches a breaking point to where they can't handle the amount of orders that that they have anymore as you know just being an independent creator or one man show it's just unsustainable because you know, something like the V-Rex here is something that a lot of people have wanted for a long time, a nice articulated V-Rex figure. And obviously something like this is going to attract a lot of attention. So I'm sure that this guy got so many orders of this figure. And, you know, not even just this figure. He has a lot of other figures that he was offering got so many orders just too bombarded and thought you know what I probably I just can't keep up with this anymore I'm just gonna dip out and take the money that I got and see ya no one's getting their orders which is really unfortunate like I get being overwhelmed but you know maybe you could at least try to reimburse everyone that did order and just say hey you know i i just can't do this anymore i'm sorry but he took the unfortunate route of you know closing his website shutting down his instagram and just ghosting everyone running away with the money and it's really unfortunate you know and i've seen this with with many other independent creators, this happens a lot because they don't realize how much they're gonna have, how much they're gonna have to do. Like it probably consumes their their lives, and it's just too much. And you know, he decided to take the shitty way out. Just, yep, I'm taking the money. Goodbye. You know. So. With that being said, I just kind of want to show you guys all my like screenshots that I have, my interactions with him, and sort of talk about that. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into that right now. So here's where everything started. I finished my review. I wasn't happy with the figure, obviously, you know, the quality for what I paid. You know, it was like $350 or something like that. I just wasn't happy. So I sent him an email saying my order 10013 came to me with the broken finger and chipped teeth. The paint chips off and the figure cannot stand. After spending so much money, this is very unfortunate and I'm requesting a refund. Attached are pictures of the broken parts. 
a couple days went by and I didn't hear anything. So I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to deal with this like guy. I'm sure he's not going to respond to his email anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and dispute the charge. So, you know, it's kind of funny. Once the dispute did go through, I get a message from him. He says, I worked hard on making the V-Rex figures and shipped it. Your item was delivered. You did not contact me about any problems and now you are doing a chargeback. I replied, I did email you. You did not reply. The figure arrived broken and cannot stand. Here's the email I sent and I sent him a screenshot of it. He says, I didn't see it. You need to position it right to balance it to make it stand. Like most figures, it's all about balance. You can send it back and I can replace the broken parts at no charge since it was delivered broken. And you know, that's 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 a nice offer from him. You know, I'm not going to sit here and complain about uh, him offering to fix the figure. Like, that's cool that he would offer to do that. But, you know, I just, I already had got my money back. So I just, I wasn't going to, you know bother with him any further I'm not gonna send him a figure that I got my money back for him to fix and then return to me it's just too much for something that I had already gotten my money back on so then he messages my Instagram but he he does not know that I'm the one that uh got my money back for the figure I think he he's just reaching out trying to make sure to like to keep his name in the clear because I did give him a pretty negative review on the figure. And I just think it's funny how much nicer he is when he knows that it's a YouTuber compared to just a customer, you know, it's so let's just go ahead and get into this. He says, Hey bud, you, are you the one that did a review of my V-Rex? I said, yes. He says, it was a good honest review. Sorry you got a defective one. The painter I hired to do them flaked out. He didn't even finish the other figures and disappeared with the rest of the figures and money I sent them to complete the orders. So it's looking like he was dealing with someone that scammed him as well. <laughs> so right off the bat, you know, here's a detail that most people didn't know. Like he's... You know, I I guess he's working. He was working with other people that had also scammed him. So I'm sure that's just another factor to this whole situation. He continues to say, "It made me start over on remaking them and searching for new painters. I finally found some new painters. Crossing my fingers that it won't happen again." If you like, uh, you can send the figure back and I can fix any broken parts and paint app de uh, detections. I think he meant defects. I'm sorry they did that to you. I had a similar complaint about another one. I just got it back and I'm fixing it. They didn't even seal the paint. They charged me $15 per figure to seal in urethane. So here's just, this is another issue for me. Like he's having these... Uh, it sounds like people he doesn't even know are painting the figures and obviously not delivering the quality that you would expect for a $350 figure. Like it, it looks, it's super cheap, but you know, he's also paying them 15 bucks to paint the figure. So, you know, it's just another thing that makes this all just convoluted. And, uh, I just not really sure what he was thinking here. Like, from a business aspect, it just seems very sloppy. He continues to say, I wish people just did what they were paid to do. Again, I'm sorry that it happened to you and it was a good review. The standing aspect is fair. It has a ton of articulation and with that, it makes it harder to stand. To make it look accurate and articulated is very difficult to do you would need to balance it or use a stand. The strings are tricky. They make for great articulation but lack the strength for larger figures so they may need help with the stand. I'm constantly trying to improve my figures so any input is welcome. 
So he's admitting his faults here, uh, you know, about the figure itself. Um, obviously, there was a lot of issues with production going, like, going into this figure. He's having people, he's outsourcing the painters. I guess they scammed him, you know. Uh, it's just, like I said before, it's just sloppy, you know. Like, who knows what the fuck is actually going on here. So I reply and say, hey man, I appreciate it. I was thinking you would be upset for a second. I'm glad you're being cool about it. And I will mention that if I review any more of your stuff going forward. As far as sending the figure back, it's no worries. I have some customizing skills and so I can try to fix it up in the future. For now though, it'll look great with Monkey, AKA King Kong. He says, no problem. I don't want to upset customers. Uh, which is, that's pretty funny. Uh, you know, that didn't age well. <laughs> I'm a big fan too, and would want to, and I would want to be upset over some, okay, I think he meant to say, I wouldn't want to be upset over something I spent so much money on. Do you want an extra head and arms? Uh, you can replace the broken parts. And I say, I'm scared if I take the head, or arms off, I won't be able to get them back on. I appreciate it though. I've ordered the primal figures, so I'm looking forward to those. So that's another thing, like, I've, you know, I'm a victim of this too. I ordered those primal figures that he put out, and I'm sure I'm never gonna get those, um, which is just, it's pretty unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess you just get scammed sometimes, you guys. <laughs> like, it just sucks. He says, I also have links on my website where you can buy new elastic from those ship out soon. I said, hell yeah. Hey man, I noticed you have comments limited on all of your posts. Is there a reason? He says, I have them off till I get more time to be on Instagram. I'm working hard getting all those orders out. The Z-Rex figures were made last year, but they got finished by my buddy so they are available for sale and at this point i was starting to think like you know this guy's kind of shady like why do you have your comments off like it's just a it's just a weird thing like so i figured you know a lot of people are watching my videos maybe i should just try to find out more about this guy like trying to see if he'll tell me something that he's not willing to share with other people. So I straight up asked him, hey, why are your comments off? Because for me, like when I see pages that have their comments turned off, it's usually because they're trying to hide something. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that watch my review and are were waiting on your V-Rex or whatever figure this guy has sold you, were commenting on his post or wanting to, to ask like, hey, where's my order? But, you know, unfortunately he has his comments turned off so no one, uh, so, you know, no one sees that everyone is asking where their order is. Um, well, they're not turned off, but they're limited. So when a com when your comment section is limited, I'm pretty sure it means he approves comments. So if you go, well, I guess you can't go and look anymore, but the only comments that were on his post were like all nice and positive ones, which for me is just a red flag. And I think it was probably the beginning of the end whenever he started limiting his comments. Another thing, uh, this company right here, Edel Collectibles, I bought a Spinosaurus from this guy. It was like $500, but it was going to be a huge Spinosaurus, right? And I bought it for myself for my birthday because I always wanted a really cool Spinosaurus figure. I was talking to him on Instagram and, you know, he was like, oh yeah, I'm going to ship it out next week. Next week came and it never got shipped. So I messaged him again. I'm like, hey bro, you know, are you going to send it out soon? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to ship it next month, actually. So I was like, okay, I'll be patient. You know, I know these things probably take a long time. So I'll just be patient. And, you know, kept waiting, waiting. Eventually, three months went by. He kept on, he would read my messages and just ghost me and, you know, just not reply. 
At the end of the day, I never got that figure I spent $500 on, but I was able to um, dispute it again and get my money back. The reason why I bring up this company is because a lot of YouTubers, well, not a lot, but you know, some YouTubers will uh, review these guys, this guy's figures, and everything is all fine and dandy. But you go onto his Instagram page and look at the comments. There's only like one comment on every post because he deletes, this guy deletes comments. I used to comment on his stuff like, hey guys, beware, this guy is a scammer. Beware of this guy, he's a scammer, and they all get deleted. And I'm sure a lot of other comments have been deleted too because go go on his Instagram and look at all the posts. There's no... Every comment is super positive and all the pictures only have like one or two comments. This dude is probably a scammer and, you know, is just deleting comments. I can't prove it. It's not a fact. It's, this is just all a legend. So at the end of the day, you guys, if, if y'all are one of the unfortunate people that have been scammed or, you know whatever the situation is by arctic figures i'm really sorry that happened to y'all you know hopefully you guys watching my review of the v-rex didn't make you also like go try to order one because you know i just feel terrible if that happened um but there was no way of me knowing like the dude he he did like talk communicate with me on instagram and i did get the figure so i thought like hey uh, i mean must not be a scam, but I think I'm probably just one of the lucky few that actually got the figure. Like one of my uh, friends that I actually went to uh, G Fest with last year, he got his he got his V Rex figures in too. So um, maybe he just shipped them by order because me and him both ordered the figures as soon as you know as soon as they uh, they dropped on his website. So maybe that's just how how it went he we got sorry you know he went through the first orders delivered those and then somewhere along the line just stopped delivering them so yeah and you know y'all aren't y'all aren't alone i'm probably never getting those primal figures i ordered so that sucks um but yeah you guys you know crappy topic but i just wanted to talk about it so yeah i mean that's about that's about it on that topic i do have the Haya toys king Ghidorah on the way so you know look out for that review i'm really excited to get that one in and review it for you guys so yeah i uh wish you all a happy holidays and don't take this loss too hard hopefully you guys can dispute your orders um again this is just all alleged you know there's no i guess concrete proof that he is a scammer i just you know it's just it seems that way but uh yeah all right you guys y'all have a good one i'll catch you on the next one see ya